This will be a video about the humerus. It's on page 19 of your blue bone packet. The important thing to look at when studying the bones is remembering anatomic position. What you'll see here is that the thumb is lateral, and that'll help you orient yourself to medial lateral with the upper extremity. So keeping that in mind, we're gonna look at a humerus, and we can see the head of the humerus. Head of the humerus. The greater tubercle. Greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle. Lesser tubercle. With the intertubercular groove or sulcus. Sulcus. The humerus has a neck, both an anatomic neck. Anatomic neck. And a surgical neck. And a surgical neck. There's the shaft, which is also known as the diaphysis. Here. And there's the rough deltoid tuberosity. And you can feel it, a tuberosity is always a rough spot. Um, there's the medial and lateral epicondyles. So we have medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. There is the lateral con uh, condyle is also known as the capitulum. Lateral condyle. Oh, I'm sorry. Lateral condyle. Sorry, correct right. myself. And there's the medial condyle. And the medial condyle. Because a condyle is a knuckle. So those are the medial and lateral condyles. Um, and then there are th three fossa. There's the radial fossa. Radial fossa. And the coronoid fossa. Coronoid fo fossa right next to the radial fossa. And those are anterior. And then we're going to look posteriorly at the humerus. And we can see the olecranon fossa. That's right, where the olecranon of the ulna fastens right into that fossa. 